So Skybird completes the Great Sandy Straits from Tin Can Bay, seen here, to the very north of the Great Sandy Strait, here as the aerial image shows of Urangan. I took that from the plane um, when I returned to Skybird after a work sojourn in Sydney. So, um, yeah, it was it's very satisfying to to complete the Great Sandy Strait. Um, quite challenging. There's Big Woody and Little Woody Island. Very tidal, as you can see here. I'd dodge a lot of sandbars and to stay afloat and um, religiously watch the chart. But um, yeah, so it was it was a, a relief to to reach Urangan. Um, it's a busy port. Lots of fishing whale boats. Um, and um, but amazingly, um, there's lots of wildlife around. I walked along the beach and I spotted this dugong. It's hard for you guys to see, but I watched the dugong for ages. This is what this is what it looks like, and I think it was a calf with it. And they eat seagrass, so they come into the beach and um, where there's seagrass, which is a threat in vegetation. And they, um, yeah, they're there. So Carol came and rejoined me on Skybird for the next leg, which will be uh, up to Bundaberg and then further north, some big legs up ahead. So it's good for two of us rather than solo sailing and domestic bliss in the, the tiny confines of Skybird. But we made a big momentous decision to fit a small car refrigerator to Skybird. And so we went, we'd been checking out these brass monkey ones cheap ones from J car and there's a J car um, in uh, Urangan only nine liters because it had to fit in um, a very small gap you can imagine a 25 foot boat and it's a race boat it's not even a cruising boat there's very little space on Skybird so um, this new item had to fit in where our Dometic um, Esky was and you can see here this air Dometic Esky, which has served us for seven years on Skybird, and um, they're really good, these double insulated um, Esky. You see a lot of tradies use them, um, and um, it's quite big. I think it's, uh, was it 15 litres or 20 litres, maybe? Um, but of course, constantly needing ice, which wasn't practical. But once I upgraded my batteries, say uh, here's the old trusty motorbike tenery, I, I put a third battery on Skybird. So we now had 360 amp hours of battery. I did this in the Gold Coast um, and 500 watts of solar. So all good, time to go off cycling with our mates, Dave and Nikki, and explore the region. The Yacht Club um, has an anchorage outside it, but it's pretty shallow looking, more for sort of multi-hulls definitely than keelboats. It it hosts a famous race from Tin Can Bay every year. They call it the Bay to Bay, I think, and uh, I'd like to do it one of these years. But the most famous place is, of course, the Urangan Pier, this huge long pier that goes right out into the Great Sandy Straits. Strait, and, um, yeah, that's where we came in between the Big Woody and Fraser Islands, where we sailed in here. Um, it was an interesting sail this last, you know, it took me a few weeks to sail it uh, with exploring um, hard on the wind here. This was the channel midway up uh, the Great Sandy. And um, that's the main town we drove through when we explored. This is a... Uh, Maryborough, which is a big regional town just south of Urangan. Uh, I liked it. It's an old industrial town and it does have a lot of derelict uh, manufacturing and uh, engineering. You can get to it by, by water up the uh, winding Mary River, um, but this river is prone to flooding. So um, the boats uh, you see here uh, anchored on it. Um, it will be interesting when it floods because it floods I think nearly every year it floods a lot um, but it's a beautiful region um, it also cuts off the road when it floods and our friends get stuck up in Harvey Bay. In Harvey Bay itself um, there's quite a lot of hostelries this was the fishing club Carol and I had one of our last meals in the fishing club and then some last drams of course being Scottish uh, some Klein Alish, some of the local uh, Dave and I come and we all come from the region in the north of Scotland so we had some Klein Alish to finish 
um, to see cheerio to our mates and um, see cheerio to the beautiful um, Great Sandy Street uh, Marina. I've got to say the manager here was really friendly. Um, Stuart, I think his name was, really friendly and uh, informative, a knowledgeable sailor. So um, we were reluctant to leave, but it was time for the next leg. <laughs>